Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Frank from Tested. And we're at Frank's shop this week to give you a new series of shop tips. More shop tips. Yes, and I think we're gonna start with something pretty basic or what seems to me like a no-brainer. Everything seems like a no-brainer. I know. And then there's a couple people that are like, I never thought of that. Yeah, so yeah. what have I not thought of when it comes to cleaning paint brushes? Yeah, well, I have a lot of brushes from makeup brushes, uh, painting kits. We have a lot of brushes here at the shop. Um, and not every brush cleaner and every way of cleaning brushes is the same. You have to pay attention to um, what that paint is that's in the bristle and what solvent you use to get rid of it. Hmm. Okay, um, so let's talk about the different kinds of brushes, for example. So what are the, are you talking about different solvents for different styles of brushes or different materials that you're painting with? Different materials that you're painting with. Like I pretty much treat, whether it's synthetic or natural or Taclon or what, you know, whatever these things are, I treat all the brushes kind of the same. I haven't, in my experience, ever found that I prefer synthetic versus natural. Like, if the if the brush shape and the stiffness of the bristle is what I want, it's fine. Okay. It's all it all depends on what paint you have in there. Like this this brush was used for body painting, so this is a water soluble body paint. These brushes were used for glue for prosthetics, and they're stuck <laughs> together. So, you know, do I clean body paint out of a brush the same way I clean prosthetic glue or uh, or model paint? Like you gotta use different different solvents for different paints. So let's talk about the solvents then. Yeah. What is, you have a lot more solvents than I think you need. It's not just isopropyl alcohol? No, um, I mean, alcohol is definitely a mainstay when I'm cleaning anything. If you can clean something with just soap and water, like that's the safest, like less toxic way to clean anything. And you kind of work your way up from there. Like obviously water is not gonna get glue out of a brush. So you have to use something a little more industrial. Um, so, you know, for makeup brushes, most of the time, like my favorite, makeup brush cleaners is Perry and Spirit. Um, it gets just about everything out of a brush. Solvents, body paint, glue, cream makeup, whatever. Um, and then, you know, if I'm painting rubber cement paint, that solvent is naphtha. So I'll use naphtha to take out mm. the rubber cement paint. And then if I really can't get something out of the bristles, I use this stuff called Ensolve, which is like the strongest thing that I've found for cleaning anything, cleaning my airbrush, cleaning brushes. Um, it's a, like a heavy duty industrial uh, parts cleaner solvent. It looks like it. Too. It and, looks like uh, it belongs in a lab. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of tricky to get a hold of. This is my last resort. All right, so you have your tiers of solvents that match with the materials you have in your brush. And then how about process? Is process. there a workflow? Is it just putting it in small little little cups? Well, a lot of, if it's if it's a more uh, aggressive solvent, I'll use a glass jar, like a you know, like a mason jar or something like that. If it's just alcohol or water, I can use plastic cups, obviously, because you don't want to melt those cups. When it comes to something like body paint, because uh, this is water soluble, I'll just use soap and water and I'll scrub it in the, in the palm of my hand under the sink. Mm. A lot of paints, um, especially things like body paint, will stain the bristles. So sometimes my brushes end up being a funny color <laughs> afterwards. Um, but yeah, just soap and water, clean it out, and then when I'm done, you don't want to leave these things sitting in the bottom of a cup, so you sit them out flat. Yeah, so how much soaking do you do? And do you ever leave things soaking? Um, if there's something that's really not getting out, you want to leave it soaking, but you, you want to keep it in the solvent the least amount possible. Because a lot of these solvents are going to work their way into the bristles, and they're going to loosen the glue that holds the bristles in. And then your brush is ruined. All right. So use, you know, soak it as least as you absolutely have to. And then have it lying flat on the table to dry, and mm -hmm. that way you have the bristles lying in the right orientation. Yeah, so they're not sitting in the bottom of a cup and getting smushed, because then you have all these bristles that are all gnarled, and then your brush isn't, isn't good anymore. Awesome. Things I may not have thought about when it comes to cleaning paintbrushes. Thanks so much, Frank, for giving me a little more information about something I thought was just dead simple and hopefully you guys learned something as well. We'll have more shop tips coming on the site, and if you guys have shop tips from whatever type of shop you work in, we'd love to see them in the comments below. But Frank and I, we'll see you next time.